What's up, Ride BMX? My name is Alfredo. We're here on a rainy day, so we're going to stay inside and we're visiting Epic and we're going to teach you how to put a headset on. So today we're going to install the Verde headset. Boom. On the uh, Federal Notorious frame. Traditionally, when installing a headset, you're going to want to take the race, which is this little piece. You're going to want to drop the race on here. And if you're fancy, you got this big girthy shaft here. And you're going to slide this over real nice and smooth and um, you apply enough pressure and bang it on there and you want it to sit flush so it so that it doesn't loosen up later on when riding so today you don't really have to worry about that because fit you know had the race built in so you're gonna want to slide the lower bearing um, for the most part the bearings are uh, universal so the top one can go on the bottom and the bottom can go on the top so that doesn't really matter you want to slide it on and you're going to want to make sure it you know, sits flushly. If there's anything weird, that means that your fork doesn't have a built-in race. So you're going to want to bang that other piece on. So you want to push it upwards with the bearing in place. And you're going to want to make sure it pops into place, like so. Apply a little bit of pressure. Okay. Make sure it's lined up. Then you apply the upper cup the same manner. Um, you want the concave part facing down. And you just apply some more pressure. Put your little Verde cap on. This is actually the upper race with the dust cover already assembled on it. And it's got that cut there so that you don't have to worry about it's going to adjust itself basically. So slide it back down over. Then you put your super fast, super lightweight carbon fiber spacers like so. Okay, once you put on the upper race dust cover and you have sufficient spacers there, you want to slide the stem over. You want to make sure the bolts are loose so it slides easily. As you can see, once we slam the fly stem, there's a little piece of fork that's still protruding on the outside. If you were to just put your compression bolt on there without adding another spacer either above or below, your, head, your headset's going to end up becoming loose because it's not going to have enough force or pressure from the top and they're still going to be playing it. So when putting on the spacer on the top, you want it nice and centered because if it's uneven, you're going to apply improper pressure on top of it and you're either going to have a loose headset or worse, you're going to break your spacer or cause your headset to break because it's going to be loose and rattling around and that's not good for your space, for your headset. So we center it, apply the compression bolt. This is a six um, millimeter Allen that this compression bolt uses. So we're going to apply that in there. At first, you don't want to have it too tight because that'll cause your headset to creak or to be, to have too much pressure. So we're going to do it nice and snug. And then usually you could have your handlebars on your stem when doing this and you could sway it back and forth to see if there's any movement. When you're tightening your rear bolts, you're going to want to apply an even amount of turns on each side. So if you gave one turn here, you're going to want to give it another turn here. And you want to keep going back and forth so that you're applying even pressure on both the upper and the lower. If you start tightening one more than the other, it's not going to be the same amount of strength for the stem on the fork itself. Then at the end, you want to get them nice and snug so that when you crash, your forks don't go one way and your bars and your stem go the other. Once you're done, you're going to want to test your stem. Um, when applying a brand new headset, it's going to be a little more stiff than usual because it hasn't had enough time to break in. After a few days of shredding, you're going to notice that your headset might become a little loose. So you're going to want to take it back in, give it a nice little snug tightening, and then you're ready to wrap.